Hey guys, I'm back again, and today I'll be talking to you about player models for point shop. Okay, so the main focus is in this video, uh, there's a lot to cover. So the main focus in this video is point shop, player models, resource generator to make it easier for you to code, and um, certain errors that people are having. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is download a model. Uh, I've downloaded the Halo 3 models um, since when I downloaded them. I did a lot of testing to see which models were good uh, as you do as a normal server admin you test out different models to see which ones work on your server this one was very very good the way it was laid out and everything was perfect um the generator you're going to need is called fox warriors resources um basically it takes all the materials and all that stuff and it uh it applies it all the code without you having to take like 10 minutes to do it. I'll leave a link in the description to this as well and it's pretty much down here. It's pretty obvious uh, where, where to download it. Okay, so once you've done that and you've downloaded the model, we're going to get started. Um, also, I thought I'd mention, uh, I have a previous video which shows you how to um, extract Steam community files. Um, I will leave that in the description to the generator to that as well in case people um, uh, don't know where to find it. So, uh, we'll just minimize that now. Uh, a few of the errors that people have are as follows, where they have the outline of the model, but it doesn't animate when you walk. Okay, so we're gonna fix that, and uh, I'll show you what the problem is if that ever happens. Okay, so we'll just close that, and... Uh, okay, so uh, go to your Gary's Mod server, and... Wherever you downloaded your model, you want to extract the folder to the add-ons folder, okay? Now remember, I'm working off Steam CMD, which is the new update, so for anyone who has OrangeBox still, um, I don't even know if it still works for OrangeBox, but uh, you might have a different file location. But anyway, uh, for this case, we're using the Halo 3 models, and one thing you'll notice when you ever download a model, you're going to need a Lua folder, okay? So if you download a model and it doesn't have a Lua folder, it's because it's uh not uh made for um trouble and terrorist down okay it's made for gary's mod which i don't think needs a lua file but don't correct me on that i'm not too sure but for the purpose of trouble and terrorist down you need a lua folder if the model has a lua folder that's perfect open that lua folder and uh open auto run if you do not have a lua folder make a lua folder make an auto run folder and then inside that make a lua folder and call it whatever you want Okay, corresponding to your model would be recommended. Okay, so we're going to open the code for this particular model, which is set up here. I set it up already, and I'll go through that in a minute. But before we do that, we want to make sure that the point shop has the specific stuff, which is the main thing people are very confused about. So go to your point shop um, folder, wherever that is. Go to Lua go to items go to player models okay now i already have it in here but for you you're going to need to add a lua file for each model you add to the items uh, pile okay so don't worry about category that's like the main tab part uh, i have the harlequin uh the uh, the Kleiner and the Spartan Green, but don't worry about the other two. Uh, we're working off Spartan Green, okay? Now, I've called it Spartan Green. You can call it whatever you want, okay? So, uh, we're going to open this, and previously, it will be a new file. So, it'll be file new uh, text document, okay? So, in here, you have a bunch of code, which you're probably, for some people, may not understand, okay? The basic part you're going to need is uh, item, name, item price and item model okay they're the basic parts which uh make the, the photo appear on the screen okay now the function part here is what applies the uh the buy the sell the holster and all that kind of stuff okay don't worry i'll leave a link in the description to this uh so you guys can download specific parts for um the point shop part and the other part for the model code okay so the first thing you want to do is you want to copy what we'll have in the description name your name your file so this can be whatever you want in my case it's spartan green give it a price and then the model location is what you're going to need next okay now to file find the model location go to where you downloaded the file okay so in my case it's in um the halo 3 models 
and models player halo 3 okay now if you scroll down um whatever model you're specifically looking for is the model you pick in for the point shop okay so in this case i want spartan underscore green dot mdl so i make sure that my file locations as you can see up here is what corresponds to the model over here so in my case it's models player halo 3 and then the name of the model okay so once you've done that uh, just add this function here don't mess around with this uh, unless you really know what you're doing but for point shop you don't really need to mess around with this um so once you've done that, uh, you, you're one step closer to uh, adding your player model to point shop. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is we want to take all the um, resources and all the, the um, player materials for your model and apply them to your server. Okay. Now I'll leave a link in the description. Sorry, not a link. I'll leave the code in the description um, to make your model animate in your server okay now bear with me this may get slightly complicated but it'll be worth your time if you stick around okay so um for the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have if server then player underscore manage dot add valid model bracket inside your semicolon inside your um quotation mark sorry is the name that's going to show up uh um, you're just giving it a name really it's just for your own self um, knowledge as to what you're calling this player model okay so mine's called Spartan Green and then put the uh, model location uh, in there as well okay uh, then you have the add CS Lua file which is basically telling the Lua file to be applied to the server which gets people to download whatever is inside this Lua file Okay, so then the list set is the player option model. Uh, Spartan green, once again, it doesn't matter what's inside that. Uh, and then the model location of the model you want to add to the server. Okay, now this is the most important part. Okay, what you're going to find out now is how to generate all the resource files here. As you can see, it goes forever because of the one I downloaded. Okay, it may not be the same for you. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to that uh, exe file that we downloaded earlier on. So the Fox Warrior one. Okay, I have mine in downloads on my server. So wherever you downloaded yours, go and access it. Then you're gonna double click it. Okay, and it'll it'll open up. Now the, what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the file that you just downloaded, and you're going to get this program to extract all the resources okay so the first thing you want to do is you want to click file select a directory find out where your your model is so in my case it's in add-ons and then halo 3 player models just just highlight that you don't have to do anything select the folder and as you can see right there it's pretty much running through all the materials all the models that have been created inside that folder. So all the VMTs, all the VTFs. Now, the next step you wanna do is you wanna copy this code. So to do that, you need to click file, generate Lua file, clipboard, add file. Okay, data saved to clipboard. Now, do not exit this program before you copy the code, otherwise you'll have to do it all again, okay? Just, just to let you know that. So just minimize that for the moment. Go back to the code. Now, a lot of you won't have this okay you won't have this at the beginning you'll only have um you'll only have this part here this will be in your code uh at the beginning okay i've cancelled out all of these with little dashes so if i delete the dash it applies the model i've delete i've added these dashes without deleting the code and uh, what that does is it doesn't make the code um go through the code if you know what i mean it doesn't res the, the code doesn't see it okay it's basically just text on the code which tells me that it's there and i can delete the two dashes if i want to apply that particular model okay so uh as you can see there's a lot of different models of this spartan but for this video we're concentrating on the spartan green so what i've done is 
uh, I've basically what you do is for you as the viewer, you're going to find a space. So if I just scroll down here, okay. Oh, sorry. Just find a space down here somewhere, all the way down here. And what you're gonna do is you're going to just this is just for me, okay? For you, this this line, this 275th line, will basically be underneath this line here, under, underneath list set, okay? In case you guys get confused about that, okay? Now, so I'm just copy, I'm just pasting all of the all of the resources that I've literally just generated in, uh, with that generator. So you'll see file generated by fo uh, Fox Wires Resources Generator version 2.5. Or 2.05 and then all the resources that it generated are there I've just gone to the bother before the, I started the video of disabling every single resource except the Spartan green okay so you'll see here if you scroll down you'll see resource add file models player halo 3 Spartan green so basically all I did was scroll down and every time I saw uh, green I left uh, I left the um, the left side here enabled okay so if i wanted to disable the green i just do the two dashes and it goes green okay and everything else i put the dashes beside so the code wouldn't recognize it um when it when it runs through when the server's on okay so um once you've done that you should see uh all of basically the resources so the materials and it'll have generated all your vmts all your vtfs yada 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 and uh, it should be in a ni nice place somewhere in this file, okay? You do not need to add it to some separate resource.lua file. As long as you have if server then, then the resources, and then close it off with the end tab, you'll, you're good to go, okay? It will generate, it will download the files in when you start up your server, okay? Now, uh, a lot of people debate about whether you need these extensions but i personally add them in just to be safe okay so i'll just close down the fox warriors we don't need that anymore um so a lot of people they're like okay so i've added all the resources what about the uh extra extensions okay and what i mean by extra extensions if you go into the model section okay uh, you'll see these kind of uh, weird ex end extensions like xbox.vtf uh, dx90, okay? So whatever your model is, it may have more than one. It usually has between five and six um, uh, file types, okay? In this case, this one has six. So what you want to, sorry, what you want to add is you want to copy the model so you'll have a resource dot add file model already generated by that one by the generator you want to copy it and then you want to basically paste whatever amount of times is uh the model is over here uh in this folder location okay but i've already done it for you so basically what you're going to need to do is uh see where it says spartan green Okay, so the, the, the file extension, which is the end part, you basically just copy the file extension from where it is over here on the left, uh, where the models, where the model folder is, okay? So for me, it's dx80.vtx, dx90.vtx, model I already have in the code when it's generated, dot .phy, will, you'll need to add that extension, dot sw dot vtx is another file extension dot vvd is another one and dot xbox dot vtx okay you'll see straight away it shows off the player model okay so um thanks guys for watching i hope this helped you out um you can do this with any model as long as it has the uh the files and the extensions uh for this for this type of um game but uh, generally, it should work for pretty much every model. You just got to be very careful with your file locations and all that kind of stuff. Okay, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.